Hi, I'm Charlie Love, and this is a Google Workspace admin video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer. In our last video, we enabled two-step verification and enforced it for specific users. In this video, I'll talk about some of the impacts from enforcing two-step verification and possible workarounds or changes that you may need to make as a result. Your users might have third-party apps that don't support the latest authentication protocols and don't work with two-step verification enabled for users. I've encountered this issue when setting up accounts for multifunction print scan devices that send scans via email. If a user sees a password incorrect error when trying to sign in to an app that doesn't support the latest protocols, an app password could solve the problem. App passwords give apps permission to access a Google account without the user divulging their Google password to the app. And app passwords bypass two-step verification, which is a pretty big risk to your data. App passwords are discouraged. It's better to install more secure apps that use modern authentication protocols. However, if some of your users have legacy apps that they absolutely must use, then you will need to use app passwords. You need to allow users to access less secure apps and then your users can sign in using an app password. If you're using the enforced security keys setting, then this disables app passwords. You can't require users to use a security key for two-step verification and also let them use app passwords to sign into legacy apps. If you enforce security keys as a two-step verification method for your users, your company has security requirements that you really don't want to circumvent. If you're using a third-party IDP to authenticate users for accessing Google products and single sign-on is enabled for your top-level organization, by default, Google's two-step verification doesn't apply when users sign in through that SSO service. You can set a policy to use post SSO verification, which will make use of two-step verification. In the admin console, go to menu, security, authentication, login challenges. Click post SSO verification and then select logins using SSO are subject to additional verifications if appropriate and two-step verification if configured. Click save. Super administrators don't use SSO when signing in. If they're enrolled in two-step verification, they must provide a second authentication factor when they sign in. If two-step verification is enforced at your company, administrators or users won't be able to sign in to their accounts if they lose access to their method or haven't set up two-step verification. For example, an administrator or user loses their security key. A user loses their phone and can't generate two-step verification codes. A user doesn't enroll in two-step verification by the end of the new enrollment period, or a newly created user can't sign in to their account to set up two-step verification. It's important to have sufficient resilience in your organization to manage these issues and account recovery is one approach. Your admin users should prepare for account recovery by doing the following. Administrators should have a spare security key. Administrators should enroll more than one security key for their administrator account and store it in a safe place. Save backup codes ahead of time. Administrators and users should generate and print backup codes in case they're needed in the future. And they should keep these backup codes in a secure location. You can also generate codes for a user. If a locked out user doesn't have backup codes, you can generate them for them. You should also set up an additional administrator. If their administrator can't sign into their administrator account, another administrator can generate backup codes for them. If security keys are going to be required, make sure to set up a grace period. When you set up enforcement for two-step verification, set up a grace period. Users can enter a backup code for two-step verification during the grace period. If you need to recover an account, 
the best thing to do is to use backup codes. Accounts are still protected by two-step verification and backup codes are easy to generate. If you move users into a configuration group or change their organizational unit so that two-step verification isn't required, their accounts are no longer protected by two-step verification. So the best thing to do is to use backup codes rather than change the user's policy settings. To generate backup verification codes for a user in the admin console, go to menu, directory, users. Find and select the required user. Click security. Click two-step verification. Click get backup verification codes. Copy one of the verification codes and then send the backup code to the user, ideally through an encrypted messaging service. The user can then sign into their account using a password and the backup code. The same process works for admin accounts, so admins who need an account to be recovered can ask another admin to do this for them. So there you have it, something to consider when setting up two-step verification and how, as an administrator, you can ensure that you and your users can make use of account recovery if it's needed. I'm Charlie Love, and this Google Workspace admin video has been brought to you by Apps Events and Acer.